All right, so we took a look at uh, how to uh, use a, uh, a button group, but instead, um, if you have a long list of things that you want to choose, perhaps a, a, a drop down or a picker might be a better option, right? Uh, so a picker might allow you to scroll through a long list of things, right? So let's, uh, let's take a look at how we can uh, build that. Uh, so to do that, uh, we're going to use the picker uh, uh, element, right? That, um, uh, that allows you to list, uh, in this case, we're going to use the same exact four uh, options, right? But uh, certainly it could be, it could be anything, anything else. Um, it could be a much longer list, right? It's, it's, a, it's a better, better, it's easier to just scroll with your thumb over a long list, right? So let's, uh, let's create a picker. Uh, let's see, so this will be maybe, um, we'll create, it says new, this will be a question type, um, question type picker .js. And um, so let's do import uh, React uh, from React, and we'll import uh, picker uh, from uh, React Native, okay? Right. Notice that we're using uh, picker is a, a standard uh, element, right? From the uh, out of the box React Native library, right? So we're not using an elements uh, uh, a, um, a React Native elements element. Right? Instead, is uh, this is out of the box. Uh, so all right, so um, uh, so let's create this. So this will be class question type picker uh, extends uh, React that component, and we're going to export this uh, default question type picker, uh, and this will be render, and this is return. Uh, and we will render this uh, list here of, of, uh, of pick items. All right, so we'll copy that. And let's paste that. Oh, DM copy. Uh, right now, we don't have a selected value. We don't have an on chain. We just want to list uh, all, the, all these pickers, right? Uh, what are you complaining about? Uh, picker statement expected. <coughs> Did. Oh, did I leave it open? Oh, thank you. <laughs> yeah, um, all right, so we have that, and uh, from our app.js, we can load it and just display it right next to the, the um, question type picker. We'll load it and display it right next to the uh, uh, um, button group. All right, so it will be elements, and then question type picker, and we'll display it uh, maybe just right below it. All right, and there it is. So there's there's the uh, the uh, multiple choice essay, true, false, and fill in the blanks that you can you can select from, uh, and very similar like the button group. And notice that it's uh, it's not really there's not there's um, there's no one selected right uh, we're not it's, it's, it's you you, ha you would have to maintain the state of the of the picker uh, and uh, to do that same thing you will need to uh, create an event handler right uh, like for instance um, let's uh, add this let's feed it the the uh, the one that is selected right has a um, has a field selected selected value and um, and we can uh, create a state an initial state for this in the constructor uh, and uh, create a state so this dot state and the question type She knows I'm teaching. <laughs> Question type, we can say zero. Uh, let's see. And if we re-render, notice that, that the, that the uh, notice that if, even if I drag it out, right, it goes back to, the, to zero, right, to the one that, uh, that's selected, right? 
so it's ignoring my, my scrolls. scrolls. Uh, to, to make it um, uh, persist, uh, we need to add like an on change uh, so that uh, we can, we can uh, not, uh, notify an event handler that uh, the, the state has changed and that we should persist it. Uh, so to do that, we, um, uh, we can do it right here right, without having to bind anything. Right, we could do it right there. We can say this dot state, uh, when in the on value change, it passes uh, the value. So the value is whatever you want it to be. You know, a common thing, a common uh, uh, pattern is to use here some kind of constant uh, that is a well-known constant across the entire application. Right, that, that it means the same thing across your entire application. Here, MC for multiple choice, ES for SA, TF for true, false, FB for fill in the blanks. Uh, and uh, when, you, when you change it, it passes the, the, this value. Uh, it also passes the index, 0, 1, 2, 3, and so forth. So here we're se setting the uh, question type. We're changing it to the item value. Uh, so MC, ES, TF, FB, right? If the value matches, then it'll set it to that particular value. Um, uh, so if we uh, if we run that and refresh, uh, if we change it to to fill in the blanks, notice that now it stays on fill in the blanks, right? And it's uh, uh, we could I guess we could echo what the uh, picker is uh, displaying, perhaps in a text, right? So maybe we can put this inside of a view, uh, and um, and in the text, in a text element. Uh, we could display uh, this dot state dot uh, question. What is it? Question type, right? And we'll need to load uh, text. Uh, view. I need to load view as well. Okay. Notice that it says zero. Uh, if I select it and I drop, I notice that it says TF. Uh, or FB, right? So the value is changing as I change the state, right? And you could use that uh, later on, you know, when you click on the add button. When you click on an add button, then it would add that particular type of question to the list of questions, right? So you have a, an initial list, right? Or some empty list, and you can select the type and you say add, right? And then adds that type of, of, uh, of, uh, of question to the, to the exam, right? Uh, and then you can navigate to that particular question and then configure it. You know, give it a title, the number of points, uh, the description, choices, and things like that. All right. Um, all right. Let's, uh, let's keep going. Let's see. Uh, now that we have the picker. Well, let's uh, let's actually now start working on the on the forms uh, the, on the form that each type of question will have. Right. Let, let's work maybe on the true false uh, and on the um, multiple choice and one of those. Right. So let's take a look at that next. <coughs> 